Hi everyone, Yen here. Welcome to my channel. Today I will be working on a 40 by 40 centimeter canvas or 16 by 16 inches approximately. I will be making a swipe with a cell activator made from Australian Floetrol and Amsterdam paints. For a canvas this size you will need approximately 300 milliliters of paint. I use Olga Subri's acrylic pouring paint calculator to figure out how much paint I need for my canvases. You can find the calculator on the address that pops on, up on the screen now. As I said, 300 milliliters will be enough for covering this canvas. It, that of course depends on what type of, of uh, painting you're making, what technique you're using. For a swipe, uh, 300 milliliters is sufficient. But yes, I highly recommend that you use Olga Swibu's paint calculator. Uh, it helps me every time that I do a painting. Uh, right now I am popping the air bubbles with my torch. Some people are asking whether you can do it with a heat gun. It is possible. I just think that it moves around the paint around and I really don't like that. So I use a torch for it. Um, I will now be adding the colors. And I decided, uh, after uh, contemplating it for a little bit, as you can see, I decided to uh, put on the paint in three lines, fairly close to each other. Uh, the first color that I'm starting with is Rotbart Ultramarine. I live in Germany, so some of my paints are paints that I produce in Germany, Rotbart being one of them, I think. I must be honest, I'm not 100% sure. But I do it definitely as a German name, so chances are it will be produced here. The next color that I'll be using is probably more known to everyone, except I mixed this one, so part of it is uh, Amsterdam Naphthol Red Deep and some Goya Vermilion, which deepens the, the red color a little bit. It, it shows up as being really red here on the screen but in real life it's a little darker than than an average red I would say but yeah this is a mix I can't say what how, the parts what parts how much I put in of the Amsterdam and how much I put in of the Goya this is all paints that I'm using today is uh, leftovers from other paintings and I just decided to, to try to use them for a swipe like this uh, to just finally get my cups emptied. This color that I'm putting on right now is Goya again, turquoise. A little darker turquoise in my book, but still turquoise. The next color is Amsterdam Graphite, or gray if you will. Um, that is a metallic paint. And the next color that I'll be using is uh, also in Amsterdam. It is the Azo Yellow Light. Uh, the paints that I'm using normally for these types of paintings or this technique, I use one part paint, three parts Floetrol, and a half to one part water, depending again on what type um, or what technique I'm using. But yeah, one part paint, three parts Floetrol, one part water, or half a part water if you want it a little thicker. And of course I also do a drip test normally to make sure that all paints are equally thin or thick. The next color is Gestecker, another German one, uh, silver, so another metallic. And the next color that I'll be using is just emptying the Rotbart Ultramarine cup. As you can see, you practically don't see the Ultramarine anymore, so I decided to add just a little more. And there wasn't that much left, but still a little extra blue on top. 
and from that I will go to another turquoise but this time it's the Goya pale turquoise blue so as you will see it's much lighter Goya pale turquoise blue a very light turquoise and the last color that I'll be putting on is again just to empty my cup it's the, the mix, the red mix, the Amsterdam Nathal Red Deep with Goya Vermilion uh, just to get it all emptied out and next on we will be moving to the swipe uh, I don't remember if I said, told you already well, how would I mix the swipe, but uh, it's the the mix that I think everyone is using. So it's one part paint, three parts Australian Floetrol, and that's it. You just put a thin layer on your palette knife, as I'm doing right now, and then you go ahead and swipe. I will be zooming in so you can see it a little closer. Um, yeah, so I'll be going one swipe from one side to the, the other, and the next swipe I will go in the different direction. I am also switching it up. Um, I am using, um, did I say that it's Amsterdam Oxide Black that I used in the black? Um, the next swipe I'll be doing in the middle is white. So that is with Amsterdam Titanium White and the Australian Floetrol, still mixed one to three, so one part paint, three parts Australian Floetrol and again you just put a thin layer on your palette knife and then you go ahead and swipe and uh, this is where you see the big difference um, the Australian Floetrol just starts selling up immediately making this beautiful lacing um, I have tried this with Minwax Pre-Stain in European flow troll it does work but in my uh, world it does not sell up the same way it does not make the same kind of, of uh, lacing beautiful lacing as I'm showing you here I'm doing the last one with the, another black swipe so yeah uh, the, the, the Minwax pre-stain does work um, I just don't haven't been able to make it work as well or as good with um, with the Minwax pre-stain for this type of painting. I've made other paintings where I've thinned the paint and, and done just a, a stretch and where it did, did um, generate a lot of, of, of interesting cells. So Minwax pre-stain definitely does work. Right here I'm just using the leftover of the white paint uh, for my flow extender in order to make it the paint roll easier on the canvas. In the famous words of Massey Art Studio, it is tilting time. I will now be stretching the paint and the cells, hopefully making them look even more awesome. I will say that initially I had intended to actually try out the marble technique as well, uh, the one that, that uh, B.R. Turner uh, reinvented I guess I've heard that it's not a new technique but he definitely got everyone made everyone aware of it again so I had wanted to try that out but um, this came out so nice that I decided that I didn't want to mess with it so uh, it'll have to wait that will definitely be my next project maybe I'll even make it today but I'm definitely gonna try the marbling technique and uh, just not worry about yeah well well whether I like the end result or not it has to be tried out uh, so that will probably be my next video hopefully right now I'm just touching up the corners the edges making sure everything is covered um, I want to thank you for joining me thank you thank you for watching my video I hope that you enjoyed it uh, I will be posting a new video soon, probably with the marbling technique. If you would please subscribe, I would be very 
happy and also do give me a thumbs up and last but not least comments are always very welcome i hope that you have a wonderful day and i'll see you soon bye